The rally mini's got a roof. Now, I do like watching YouTube, and one of my favorites is Matt Green. Uh, for those that have been watching my channel for a while, especially back on the old Bernie episodes, you will remember that I did a bit of a parody on Matt ages ago. So I managed to catch up with Matt at IMM 2019, and we got talking about the roof and his Mark I restoration where he replaced his roof with a heritage panel. He learned an awful lot from it. I learned an awful lot from watching the video, uh, and. During that event, we came up with a plan of doing a collaboration where we fit this roof. Here we go. So let me explain where we're at. So this car was an ex rally cross car and they wanted to lighten it as much as possible. So what they did is they chopped the roof off, leave a couple of inches and then bonded on a glass fiber roof with a few little spot weld, uh, it's not spot welds, well, these pot rivets, just to keep it in place. There you go, there's a bit of glue as well. Uh, now I can't run a glass fibre roof in stage rallying. I'm allowed a glass fibre bonnet and a glass fibre boot, Perspex windows, and that is it. So I've got my second hand roof over there. Somehow I need to fit it. Here we go, this is the roof off a of Mark IV that I scrapped many years ago. I knew I needed the roof for this particular job, so I've had it in storage all these years. I always thought these were roller welded on. Um, it does look like it's spot welded. I might just get the old uh, wire wheel on there and see, see what we think. That's all right mate, I'll do this. You drink your beer, all right? So how I'm doing this is I'm going across it with a grinder to make the metal as thin as I can and then uh, yeah just rolling it along and then afterwards cleaning it all up, cleaning up those little dots. Look, I've kind of got into this technique where I can turn it, pop out that, there's one, Ooh. there's another one. Ah. and clean. Good, Dad. I genuinely think this drip rail has got to come off, hasn't it? I mean, it's started to corrode, um, and also where we're going to spot weld it, it would be going through, yeah, it's never going to work because it, it won't spot weld through rust, will it? No. No, that's cool, mate. I'll do this job. You, uh, you help yourself to a beer, all right?
So I suppose we better cut this bit off and try and clean this up in there best we can. Ready, mate. You ready to do your thing? There we go. Well, okay, that's not exactly what happened. Uh, I just thought it'd be funny to do some stellar gags because, you know, it's Matt. Uh, what really happened was we settled on the date for this collaboration uh, a week ago, and I had done no prep to the shell as far as the roof is concerned at all. So. Uh, including one day off, I spent all my spare time doing all that prep, getting it all ready, and then Matt came down on a Saturday morning to do the spot welding. Let's see how that went. Oh, oh hang on, no, you're not quite in there. <laughs> it's got a roof. Right, so, what's the plan then? Just. <laughs> Just thought of something though because obviously uh this is a mark one two oh the gut a little the bit. Gu yeah the, the with the drain holes but i can file that out later yes what was i gonna say oh yeah the uh purist is gonna love this i uh had to cut off the drip rails i told him not to <laughs> i said the storm <laughs> yeah. Nah, you got to take them off. The you go, You can't do it can you no. there's no then, way then you don't have to go to the reserve if you want to ever put them back on you don't you don't need spot on every centimetre of bloody old. No, no, that's right. And I think Machine Mart, no, who is it? Not Machine Mart, Machine, M Machine, M -Machine yeah. They make them, don't they? Yeah, yeah. And I can just exactly. wash them on. I might do it because, I'm like saying, on my Mark 1, I, I, I don't know the story of drip rails in the history of the Mini. My Mark 1 doesn't have drip rails. And that's 1967. This is 1968, had drip rails. I know early Mark 3s had drip rails. Yeah, I think, I don't know, most of what's left in the factory. You know. It probably is, isn't it? I think. Beer. 64 I did. You know, the only swear that he never ever had them, and it's like, well, added them, but yeah. I do know a lot of. I've talked to a few body shop guys in the past, and they said they used to remove them in the seventies because they were just bust. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm so probably the probably break, that's the case with that one. Off, you know, yeah, anyway. I wouldn't be surprised. Done. Thank you very much, sir. Really appreciate That's that. Right. Well, it was pretty simple, wasn't it? I mean, within uh, within about an hour and a half, it was done. It was it was it was in, and it was spot welded. No dramas whatsoever. 
but it really helped a having someone that's done it before and b having those specially modified tips um, just normal round tips just wouldn't work they'd um, you'd end up burning holes in the actual roof itself and it doesn't fit in the gutter because it's it's not straight down that you're doing it you're sort of doing it at this angle um, so yeah without Matt and his special tips um, it just wasn't gonna happen what do we do for the rest of the day well it just so happens uh, that the Isle of Wight have their beer and buses festival on so what's beer and buses well it's uh, classic buses from all over the UK they come down to the Isle of Wight and they run a free classic bus service, lots of different routes around the Isle of Wight. Uh, and you can go on these buses for free, it's brilliant. All you do is buy a timetable and it tells you where they're going and what times. Now the trick is they don't stop at bus stops, no. They stop at pubs, yay! So uh, they literally stop at every pub on their way around and you can jump off, go in, have a cider or a beer, catch the next bus, go to the next pub. It's literally a week-long pub crawl on classic buses. What's not to like about that? Thank you very much, I want that number plate for my Mini. Is that what it is? Yeah. This is a no smoking seat and that's a smoking seat. Yeah. I want one of them. Any idea where the power of that, mate? Is that two or three horsepower? Two or three. <laughs> uh, and the windscreen wipers affecting your OCD. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the Mermaid. Gin distillery. I'll have a pink gin. Me too, please. Me too. Stella, please. <laughs> We're on this one. A 1953 Leyland. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's not the 80s, so that's not 80s, is it? Mate, that's our bus. Do you know what it is? That's a 53, is it? Leyland? <laughs> Mate, you're on it. You are a true bus oh, man. I it's 53 or 54. <laughs> they changed the slight window. <laughs> you can tell by the, the windows. Trim. The trim on the, the window. window trim. <laughs> Slightly different. Oh wow, look at this. This is like 80s amazingness. It makes me want to have my 80s mullet. <laughs> it does feel like I'm on a rave bus. A rave, I'm just coming back from the nightclub or something. I'm off to you. Yeah. Excuse me. What year is this bus? Registration 1997, but actually built in 1996. Thank you. It is 90s. It's got to be accurate. <laughs>
Well, thank you very much, Matt, for our first ever collaboration. I'm chuffed to bits with it. Uh, the rally car's got a roof. Uh, you know, I was very tempted to bodge it in many ways, maybe off camera and things like that, but I thought, no, Matt's done it properly. I need to do it properly. Uh, and I'm chuffed to bits with it. It's brilliant. Well, if you don't know who Matt Green is, where have you been? Um, he's done quite a few restorations. He pretty much puts a video out every weekday. I don't know how he manages to do that, but he does. Um, and the latest project he's got is a mini pickup. Uh, just so he's doing an amazing job of it, I must admit. He's done almost the same as this. He's putting brand new inner wings in, uh, all that sort of stuff. Uh, he's now doing the, the rear wings, arches, if you want to call that. I think he's going on the rear bulkheads going in at the moment. Um, I really wish I'd watched his video on the inner wings before I did these and I might not have made the same mistake. Um, so yeah, please go and check out Matt. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below. So until next time, ta-ta for now.